Please like the video. As we approach the midterm elections, most political coverage I see frames the contest as a struggle between Republicans taking advantage of a bad economy and Democrats trying to scare voters about the G.O.P.S regressive social agenda. Voters do, indeed, perceive a bad economy. But perceptions don't necessarily match reality. In particular, while political reporting generally takes it for granted that the economy is in bad shape, the data tell a different story. Yes, we have troublingly high inflation. But other indicators paint a much more favorable picture. If inflation can be brought down without a severe recession, which seems like a real possibility, future historians will consider economic policy in the face of the pandemic a remarkable success story. When assessing the state of the economy, what period should we use for comparison? I've noted before that Republicans like to compare the current economy with an imaginary version of January 2021, one in which gas was $2 a gallon but less pleasant realities, like sky-high deaths from COVID and deeply depressed employment, are airbrushed from the picture. A much better comparison is with February 2020, just before the pandemic hit with full force. So how does the current economy compare with the eve of the pandemic? First, we've had a more or less complete recovery in jobs and production. The unemployment rate, at 3.5%, is right back where it was before the virus struck. So is the percentage of prime-age adults employed. Gross domestic product is close to what the Congressional Budget Office was projecting pre-pandemic. This good news shouldn't be taken for granted. In the early months of the pandemic, there were many predictions that it would lead to scarring, persistent damage to jobs and growth. The sluggish recovery from the 2007-9 recession was still fresh in economists' memories. So the speed with which we've returned to full employment is remarkable, so much so that we might dub it the great recovery. Still, while workers may have jobs again, hasn't their purchasing power taken a big hit from inflation? The answer may surprise you.